How do you go sightseeing when you're blind or partially sighted? It's a question that you might not have thought about, but an important one in such a cosmopolitan world. Well, Dinka, a guide dog from Israel, is changing the way we look at international travel for blind people. That's because of a recent ruling which now means that dogs from outside the European Union can now travel to EU countries. The Israel Guide Dog Centre for the Blind welcomed the news as it's enabled Israeli Baracha Ben Avram and her companion Dinka to travel to the UK. Anthony Cray is chairman of the British Friends of the Israel Guide Dog Centre, which helps to raise funds for the dog centre in Israel, is delighted with the ruling. Together with our partners in Israel, uh, we all made uh, approaches to the various uh, departments in government uh, to get the old rules of quarantine overturned for where uh, animals could come in uh, with their partners and so long as they had the right medical certificates and the passporting uh, we worked for a long time in order to do it and fortunately uh, with Dinka and Bracha coming here this week we've been successful with the first time an animal has come, certainly a dog has come uh, from Israel, and we believe actually from other countries outside of the European Union. Baraha and Dinka have been companions since October 2012 and are visiting the UK for a week. Together they've been able to travel independently. All Dinka has to do is to walk a route once and she'll have it memorized. So uh, we've now walked the route from the hotel to the apartment where we're, we're sitting now for this interview. And uh, the second time that we walked that route, Dinka found it herself and uh, turned in at the proper place, walked up the stairs and led me to the front door. The partnership between a, a, a user and a guide dog is a very special one, as you've learned already. And uh, of course, um, there's, there's a certain temperament uh, that has to be, uh, you have to have. And incidentally, it's this temperament and this ability to create a partnership which takes place even before the blind person is introduced to their dog. So, for example, you've got to be strong, and if you're strong and, and, and uh, very active, you get a strong dog who's very active. If you're somebody who cannot be quite as active, then the dog will be a more placid and, and more relaxed uh, dog. The trip has been a significant one in that Dinka and Baraha have been meeting several patrons of the British Friends of the Israel Guide Dog Centre and other key UK figures. We met with, uh, with Rabbi Mervis, who is going to be your new chief rabbi here in the UK. We met with uh, MP David Blunkett, who is also blind and uses a guide dog. I was taken on a tour of the, uh, uh, of the Westminster Abbey and uh, was able to be guided by an expert guide who allowed me to feel all the d various monuments and statues and, and uh, artifacts that are inside. And there's so many things that are completely accessible to us and are fascinating even without your sense of sight that uh, it shouldn't deter people from traveling and exploring the world. And now there are more countries that we can explore with guide dogs. It makes it even better. For more information on the Guide Dog Center, go to israelguidedog.org.uk. So the trip has been a success for the Israel Guide Dog Centre and its British friends. This is Celestina Ololode and Dinka for JN1 in London.